quick video to show you how to work the Ken Ken website. This is one of my favorite math puzzles. So you'll click the link on your class kick. It'll take you to KenKenPuzzle.com. You will most likely see some pop-ups. Ignore them. So, oh, you just hit got it because every website uses cookies. You don't need to sign up for weekly Ken Ken puzzles. If you end up liking it, go for it. But let's just hit maybe later in case you are interested later. Okay. Then they bring you to this uh, very busy page here. It's pretty easy to navigate. So if you scroll around, you'll see some cool things. It's people all over the world play Ken Ken. Okay, it's an awesome math game. So there's a video. If you click how to play, it'll kind of teach you. So let's look at the example. Your goal is to fill in the whole grid with numbers, making sure no number is repeated in any row or column, okay? So basically in the corners of each little box is what your target is. So how I always start is I always find a, a one box with one number because I automatically know mm, you don't need to add or subtract or multiply or divide. You just, it's three. It has to be three. So you can see that's the answer there. So then I know there are the only numbers on a three by three Ken Ken that I can use are one, two, and three. So if you've ever played Sudoku, Sudoku, like the columns, once you use three, you can't use three again. The rows, same thing. So then I could sort of work through some things. If I know this is three, then I look at the rest of the column and I can see because those bold lines outline it and there's a three there, these two numbers have to add up to three. Okay, now obviously they're one and two, but you don't know the order quite yet till you go through the puzzle. Um, so let me show you a little example of playing online. Now I can't uh, guarantee I'm gonna be perfect at this, but let's uh, play so you can kind of see. So. If I go over, so I clicked on how to play for an example. If I go over, well, maybe down here, use the numbers. All right. Oh, and it does talk you through it down here. It really explains it if you're a reader. If you want to see an example, and again, you can get to all of this by just clicking how to play. If you want to see an example, here's how I do it. I always, when I want to play a game, I customize puzzle type and difficulty. This allows me to choose how difficult it is. So I am going to start with a really easy one just to show you a three by three and I'm going to stick to addition. Again, if you want to go harder than this after you get the hang of it, please feel free. So I'm going to go plus easiest to show you how I think this through. So then it creates a really cool puzzle for you. So as I told you, the way to do this is to always look for the gimme. It's like gimme, gimme, gimme answer. I can see that this is a three. There's no other boxes it adds up to. So I click on it, one, two, or three. Oh, it's three. Okay, so now I put my three in. So I know this cannot be three, this cannot be three, this cannot be three, and this cannot be three. Rows, columns, all right? So then I kind of look around and I'm like, oh, these two boxes have to add up to four and this can't be three. Interesting. So I know this has to be a one or a two. And the only way I can get four is if two plus two, which I can't do because that would repeat a two, or three plus one. And I can't put three here because three is already there. So this has to be one and this has to be three. It's allowed to be three because it's not in the same column or row as another three. So then I just solve that. That will lead me then to some other answers. Well, look, one and three, that means this has to be two. Can't be any other number. Oh, there we go again. Look, this has to add up to three. I have a two. So what does this have to be? One. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look, one something three. I think you're seeing it's not super difficult when I have it on an easy one. And I wonder what this is. One, two, three, and one. Now I have to kind of think. 
There's a three and a one, so this has to be two. There's a one and a two, so this has to be three. Now, it was obviously not tough. Oh, and then it gives you like the so. that <laughs> Good old ads, they're everywhere. All right, so, and you can pay to get it ad free, but we're not doing that. So again, we can create a custom puzzle. I can make it really hard. I could keep my puzzle the same. But what if I want to do all four operations and just eh, make it a little easy, all right? Eh, maybe easiest. It's not really letting me have a lot of options. So then you can see when there's different operations, it gets a little harder, even with a small puzzle. So again, we have the gimme. I always go there first. <gasps> Another gimme. Two gimmies in one puzzle. But then the work begins because look, there's three squares that have to be multiplied to get two. What? Well, one of them has to be two. What do you think? Yeah. And I would say, how, the, how can we get two with three? Oh, you guys. I think one of them has to be one, and one of them has to be two. Look, three, one, two. And then one of them, another one has to be one. Think about it. One times two times one is two. So if this was the right order I picked, now I have a feeling it's not, but I, I just tried it. Okay, if this was the right order I picked, that means the three, this would have to be two. Hmm. And then this would have to be one because of that three. Well, so far it's all working. Now I just have to see if it truly works with this. Because think, it worked because two divided by one is two. Okay, so you can kind of see what the different operations. I have to subtract here to get one. Oh, well that'll work. Look, I have three and two are the only numbers left. I just have to be careful, right? I can't put three here because of the three, so I have to put that two. And I can put three here because I don't have a three in the column yet. Yeah! I Good grammar and spelling are important, but if you want so, to write essays that inspire... I'll skip it. There we go. All right. So hopefully that helps a little bit. It's a really fun website to play around with um, and make your puzzles harder. Like, if you really want to challenge yourself once you get the hang of it, you can make a really big one with all four, okay, and make it, like, a little harder. Oh, man, look at that. Oh. Now, obviously, it's going to take some time to get to this big of a puzzle. That's why I like you choose your adventure here. I don't even see any gimmies. So, hee. All right, boys and girls, I'm proud of you. Keep up the good work. Adios.